I'm sorry, y'all know it had to be a part two. You know my camera equipment. I can't afford the good one yet. <laughs> but back to what I was saying about them old women, man. You know it's true. Uh, girl, I'm telling you, my grandma used to be like, oh, oh let me uh, let me take. You gotta watch them because uh, if, if 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 you don't watch them, they'll get you. They'll get you. You you tell your sons when you had them sons that they'll they'll get them and and they'll put that hanks on him. I'm like, a oh, what, grandma? A hanks? I'm like, what's that? Girl, you act like you don't know nothing. You don't know what a Hanks is? I was like, no, ma'am, I don't. That's when they go and they get his drawers and they bury them drawers around the house. Or so he don't go nowhere. Or uh they 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 they, they, they fix him where where he don't go nowhere else. And he won't want nobody but him. It ain't gonna be nothing you can tell him. I said, Grandma, they can do that. She, she like, yes, they can. Same thing about them old men. You be wondering what's wrong with you, and you're beating, let them get up on you, and, and you're beating, let them ride you, and he beating gave you worms. Old people, old men give you worms. You got to stay away from them. And I'm looking like, Lord have mercy, how they give you worms? You ask me one more question like that. You act like you don't know nothing. I'd be like, okay, okay. So, it would always make me think, and I would never, ever talk to an old man when I was young. Never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> because that's what I, that's what I was told. And, and I was telling my brother, you better not talk to no old woman. Girl, let me tell my son like that. He'd be like, Mama, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'd be like, you got to watch them. They going to fix your baby. He was like, Mama, come on now. We are not back down in the bio or New Orleans where they take a piece of your hat and put it out. I know y'all heard all of them little sayings and all that little stuff like that. But back to what I'm saying, what do y'all think is too young? Do you Do you really think... Being in your late 40s, your, in your 40s, and 40s, 50s, and 60 years old, and dating a, in your, a somebody in their 20s, how can you bring them around your friends or your family or your grandkids? You know, shit, they fit in right along with them. They can all go to the movies at the same time. Boy, I can't go with the kids. I ain't got no time being be bothered with you right now. Being up under you playing them little, them little games <laughs> It may not be like that, ladies, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. So, I'll talk to you when I'm done. All right. Okay, I'll talk to you when I'm done. I'm making a video. Oh, okay. When I was young, I used to have this saying, girl, I'm going to get me a young man. I'm going to get him some skateboard and some bubble gum and take his ass home. <laughs> oh, I had him young. They wasn't that young, though. <laughs> but I've had a young man before, before I got married. And it's nice. They play too damn much. But then you got old men that play so much and act so immature, just like he young. So sometimes you can't even tell the difference sometimes. It, it don't be about the sex. Well, yes, it do, y'all. You know you want somebody with some stem or stem on. You know, that want to just keep going and don't want to just slow down on you. And then, <laughs> That's the truth. That's me. I, I'm, I'm loving what I have. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with that. But it's just, I, I wonder to you guys, what do you think is too young for you? What do you think an older woman should have? Do you think that she should have somebody in her 20s? Do you think that looks good? Or do you think it's not about the looks or about what the family thinks? Or it's just about what she wants? 
I mean, you know, everything that they, that's, that's old saying again, everything that looks good is not good for you. I mean, I got some sentiment out this world, but shit, I'm 48. How can I deal with somebody that's 20? My mentality is like, you know, I'm fired up, but shit, I, I might want to go to bed. I, I'm tired. Or, you know, anything. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Well, we around, sitting around, and we talking about real life. Deep, real life, life situations. And he in his 20s, what can he tell me about a real deep life, life situation? He has yet to live yet. I mean, what can you get from him besides the sex? I mean, that's good and everything. I mean, you want somebody that you're able to talk to. I want everything. I want the whole nine yards. I want the whole package. I want somebody that I can talk to, cuddle with, go places with. Hell, dress like sometimes he got an orange on and, and I got an orange shirt. Whatever the case may be. Or... We're kicking it with our friends and we having dinner and everybody's having this massive in deep conversation and he pop up and he talking about a video game. <laughs> Everybody looking at you like, what the hell? What? Where you at? But then, ladies, I've, I've, I've known that I've seen some old men that couldn't hold a conversation to start out with, couldn't hold a conversation and couldn't hold anything else either. And it's like, you know, what's the point? You 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 try to do what's right, what you do, and then you run across old men that have have a young man's mentality. Then you run across a, a young man that has an old man mentality. What do you do? How would you react? I, I would react like if the young man is in his 30s and the old man is wherever, however old he is, and he acting like he in his 20s, ain't got no game, no clothes game, no money game, no game, period. Then he needs to be left alone because he's still a kid in the head. Who wants a kid in the head? If you got a 30-year-old man and he thinking like he in his late 40s and early 50s, and not sexually, but for it come to family-wise and money-wise and having a job and and he 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 not like nice this and he wanna take you places and he wanna do things for you and he wanna show you some things. I say show me some. Show me some things. <laughs> Show me my eyes wide big like what you got. <laughs> what you want to do? You know, sometimes it is about being happy. When when you beat and did everything for everybody else, sometimes it is time for you to think about yourself. Being on a serious note, Mama Roxy is here for your while your pocketbooks, your I can't even say it, your wallets, your purses, and your pocketbooks, your heart and your mind. We have deep stuff sometimes that we go through. We be lonely too when we get old. We don't be wanting what we had. We be wanting what better than what we had. You know, if he was, I'm just going to say shitty. Stanky attitude, didn't want to do nothing, didn't want to go anywhere, what no good lover. You just put up with him because you have been with him for so long. And that was the best thing that happened since sugar water, since Kool-Aid. And you just stuck with him. But then he's gone now. He didn't left your old ass and got somebody younger. Now you think, what about me? <laughs> what about you? Fix yourself up. Do what you're going to do. Get a life. Enjoy yourself. And find somebody that fits you. 
if it's somebody that's young, that's in their 30s, then on all means, do your thing. If you happy, be happy and let no one disturb that. So, I love you ladies and men. Tell me what you think. And what's too young for you? And what do you think is too young? What if it was your mom or your grandma? What would you say? <laughs> Leave me a message. I love you all. Happy Thursday. Don't forget to come back. We're going to have Freaky Friday. We're going to talk about some good stuff come Friday. <laughs> I'm going to call it Freaky Friday for us. That's our stuff. Freaky Friday. <laughs> so y'all come on back. Write me and tell me what you want to hear. Let me know. Love you, everybody. Thank you for visiting. And y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Come on back and enjoy Mama Roxy and have fun with us. Oh, let me know my old ass crazy. So come on back and let's have some fun. Ciao, everybody. Ding.